So today we're going to be freezing sweet corn. We're going to do the whole kernel corn, but what we're going to show is how to blanch it and then cut it off the cob and freeze it. One of the simplest ways to preserve. So we're going to take our ears of corn, put them into our blancher. Blanching stops the enzymatic process and ripening process of vegetables so they retain their flavor and their texture. If you do not blanch, they may be discolored, they may have an off flavor, and you lose some of the vitamins. We blanch our corn for four minutes using your timer. Okay, so when the four minutes is up, turn the heat off on your blancher, remove your ears of corn, and put them immediately into your cold water. Okay. It is recommended to let them cool down for the same amount of time as you've blanched them, so that would be another four minutes. Okay. One of the neat tricks that I found is using a bump pan to cut your corn in. If you put it in the center of the pan with the wide end at the base and cut it off just with a regular knife, It is a messy project, but it's certainly worth the, worth the mess at the end of it. So we're just going to continue to cut our kernels off. And you see it goes right into our bunt pan, so it makes it a little simpler to, to keep it together. Now what we'd like to do, using freezer bags is one choice, um, dating it, and then filling it with your cut corn. Once your bag is full, date it and make sure all the air is out of it, making sure that it will stay very fresh and it's ready to go in the freezer. It will be up to 12 to 18 months is for best quality. MSU Extension recommends three very valuable resources for use in home canning. The first is the Ball Blue Book, which is easily found in many of our stores. The second is published by the University of Georgia Extension called So Easy to Preserve. And then the third is the Complete Guide to Home Canning put out by the United States Department of Agriculture.